today, I was upstairs in the loft, and I was lying in bed, and I'm not told you guys this, and Jada, because there's always a presence like there's... Jada is a cat. <laughs> Jada is our cat. Okay. There's always a presence like there's something pushing on your legs, when, only when the blankets are over my legs. Um, and and it's, it's just like a... And it feels like a cat. Mm -hmm. So maybe there is a cat here. But I know for a fact, this morning when I went upstairs and I got into bed, Jada, she's got her own little bed. She came off and she hopped up on my bed and she's leaning right up against my shoulder. And so I'm feeling her the whole time. She's on my shoulder. And as I'm lying there, I feel this. <laughs> um, I feel like a cat is walking on my legs. So, and that's one of many experiences that I've actually saw a ghost here. I was right here. This is way back when we were gutting the place. Um, I didn't want to see anything because I thought people might think that I sound a little bit crazy. Yeah. And, uh, but I was working my chops off. I was making, cutting on baseboard. So I was not under the influence of alcohol or drugs because I don't do that when I work and use my power tools. And we had all our furniture stacked to the ceiling at the front here. Now, when we bought the place, when you go into there, that, that used to be an entrance to a bedroom. And you could walk in through this way and you could come out. This is still the original door frame here. But that was a bedroom in there. And I was on my chop saw. And as I'm chopping away, there was a noise right here where the light is. And I looked up and for just like that, I saw this lady and she was going, there used to be a cupboard where that door is there. And she was going towards the cupboard and I looked up and she had gray hair. It was in a bun. She was wearing an apron that was red with white polka dots on. Penny was over here at the time. And I thought maybe Penny went through, and but Penny was over there. And I saw her just for just just for a little bit. Three years later, there were a couple of ladies. I'm working now. Not I've I've told Penny this, but I'm not told to many people because I don't people think that I'm crazy. They will now. But about three years later. There were two older ladies sitting on the front porch, and they wanted to speak to the owner of the house. And I was working, and he went out, and she was talking to him. And the, the one lady, who was like, how old was she? Well, say, what happened was, um, I heard the Eddie. website saying that this is where they took the piano lessons. So then they made it up the porch, and they came in, and they said that their, uh, one woman said that two of her grannies lived here, and that one of them lived uh, back here, and there was an apartment upstairs, and one lived up there. And she said the one that um, lived down here had a bedroom there, and that she died in that room. And I said, oh, what did your grandmother look like? And she said, oh, well, she had a long braid um, that often was coiled at the back of her head and always wore an apron. And I said, oh, well, maybe that's the ghost that, that we see. Um, and from the very first time that we came to the house, um, we were here about a week and we had gone down to the pier and ran into a couple that we hadn't seen for a long, long time and for some reason we ended up inviting them back here to see the place and it was all very dilapidated and falling down and broken. And they came in this door and um, they got over to a particular area and then both of them could uh, very much feel the presence. And then um, after that, uh, many other people who were both sensitive who would come in uh, would always identify the ghost in the very same spot we know. We had one day a lady sitting up here and she said to Penny that there were two ladies sitting at the front. Because this used to be, um, there used to be French doors there where the mirror is. Oh. That, this used to be the living room. This used to be the kitchen right here. Okay. There, were, there, there was a doorway right here. Oh. And uh, she said that two ladies sitting over there drinking tea at my grand old time. Yeah. When we first bought the place and we started to renovate, uh, the Ghostbusters actually came in. Yeah. Because on different occasions, each and every one walked right there. Uh -huh. When they came in to go here, yeah. they stopped. Yeah. And uh, the hair 
letters still up online. They're not. Yeah. I'm like, whoa. There, 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 there's something going on here. That's five different people. Yeah. Yeah. Penny's niece, a, yeah. a little girl, came yeah. in. She came in, she stopped, and she went, there's ghosts down here. <laughs> yeah. And then okay. she went upstairs and she said, but there's no ghost up here. Yeah. But now there are. Yeah. And there were, there were many. Yeah.